Hello YouTube. Today I want to do a short tutorial on navigating the Windows file system. Uh, the tool I use to do this is uh, Windows Explorer and that can be accessed by clicking the folder icon here on the taskbar. You can also access it from the Windows menu uh, by clicking the computer link on the Windows menu. Uh, once Windows Explorer is open you'll see a number of drives available to you. Uh, in most cases you only have one hard drive which will be your C drive and that's where Windows is installed as well as uh, your floppy drive and your DVD or CD drive. Um, over here on the side is quick access to uh, folders which uh, will store important documents. Uh, recent places for example will store most recently accessed documents and you can click that and uh, open a, a document which you had opened earlier. Um, down here at the bottom is also quick access to the available hard drives like you see up here. Right now I'm going to plug in the uh, USB drive I have. And once I plug it in, Windows will detect it and give me some options to work with it. Uh, in this case, I only have one open, file, oh, open folder to view files. I'm going to open that up right now and kind of move it to the side because I'm going to use it later. Um, and to begin with, we're going to navigate into your your user profile directory, which is usually located in the same place Windows is installed. And Windows is installed on Drive C, as you can tell by the little Windows icon over here. So I'm going to double-click Drive C, and this will take me to the top-level directory of Drive C. Um, it's also called the root directory. Um, here you'll see a users directory which is where user profiles are stored so I'm going to double click that and here I have two profiles available the the one that comes with Windows which is the public one and that's used for guest account, guest account access and then my personal profile uh, in your case it'll either be your name or if you had a pre-installed Windows system it might be something kind of obscure like HP user or even just user uh, double click that folder and this will take you to your personal user directory where <coughs> your documents and all other information about your user is stored. Uh, in this example I want to copy uh, the favorites directory because when you're using Internet Explorer and you save bookmarks it stores those under favorites. If we double click favorites and go in there you can see all the bookmarks which are available. Now I don't use Windows Explorer that often so I don't have any bookmarks here but if it's the only browser you use you, you'll see a number of your stored bookmarks saved in here. Now up here at the top is what's called the location bar or the address bar. It shows what's called the path that you're currently in. Now since I'm in favorites it shows wh where I went to get there. Uh, I started with uh, the computer which showed all the list of drives and then I went into drive C and then from there I went into the users directory and then my personal directory Jeff and then we just went into the favorites folder. Now what I could do is I can click the back button which will take me to the last location I was at. This is basically records a history of, of every place you've been and when you click it it'll, it'll take you back through that history. Um, since I know exactly where I want to go and I want to get there without having to click this button twice, um, I just want to click Jeff and it'll take me to the Jeff directory immediately and then here is the favorites folder again. I want to make sure it's highlighted and I'm going to copy it. Over here is the Organize button, and here you can perform specific functions on a folder. Um, I'm going to click that, I'm going to go ahead and click Copy. And over here in the, in the USB drive folder I had opened earlier, I'm going to make sure that has the focus right now and it's up front. I'm going to click Organize in this folder and then click Paste. So now it's copied all the Internet Explorer bookmarks to the USB drive. Now I'm going to go back to my, my user directory window here. And I want to copy the Google Chrome bookmarks as well as the Mozilla bookmarks, but those aren't stored in the user directory, at least in the top level of the user directory. They're stored in a special hidden folder, and in order to see hidden folders, you'll need to turn on those folders and the way you do that is you click the organize button again and then go down here to folder and search options and then in this window there's a number of settings right now the only ones we're going to be concerned with is turning on hidden folders so I'm going to click the view tab and then right down here it says hidden files and folders and then what you want to do with those right now it's set for don't show hidden files and folders or drives and I want to turn that to show hidden files folders and drives 
Once that's selected, I'm going to click OK. And then immediately we're going to see this folder. You'll notice it's a bit dim. The icon's a bit dim. That lets you know it's actually a hidden folder. Um, and I'm going to go in there. Now, there's a number of folders in here, and different applications store information in any one of these folders, depending on how they're configured. Uh, Google Chrome stores its information under local. So I'm going to go in there, find the Google directory. And uh, since I have Chrome installed, this is going to be one of the folders here. So I'm going to go into the Chrome directory. Um, and I'm interested in my user data, so naturally I'm going to go in there. And default is basically the default profile for Chrome. So since that's the only one here, I'm going to go in there. And here are my bookmarks files. Now this is the bookmark file that Google Chrome use, uses when you load it, and then uh, when you make changes to the bookmarks, it makes a backup. Um, so that way you always have at least one backup of your bookmarks folder. Now I want to copy both of these, so you'll notice if, as you click files, that particular file is highlighted. So if you want to click more than one file, you click one, and then you hold your control key, and you can select multiple files if you want, or you can even unselect them if you want. So I have these two folders or these two files highlighted. So I'm going to let go of the control key. I'm going to right click any one of the highlighted folders and click copy. And the other way to do this, of course, is to click organize and click copy. Now I'm going to go back to my USB drive. Now I could just paste these right into the uh, the drive here in the top level directory, but I won't know what they're for if I, you know, access it like a year later. What is what is bookmarks? What's it for? Mozilla, Firefox, or some other browser? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder by clicking this new folder button, and then I'm going to type a name. I'm going to call it Chrome. Now I have a new directory called Chrome. I'm going to double click that directory. Now that I'm inside there, I can click Organize and then click Paste. And now both those files have been copied here. Now I can go up here and click the uh, top level directory of the jump drive. Now I'm going to go back to my user directory. Okay, so I'm done with Chrome. You know, I suppose I could use the back button and navigate through five or six different directories to get all the way back up to app data, which is where I want to be, or I can just click app data right here. Now, Mozilla Firefox stores its profile information under roaming, so I'm going to go into roaming, find Mozilla, and then I have Firefox installed, so I'm going to go in there, and then Profiles, naturally. And whenever you create a new profile in Firefox, it gives it an obscure ID of the extension .default. Um, if, if you only have one profile, then this is the only one you see. If you have more than one profile, then naturally you may want to make backups of both of those. Uh, in this case, there's only one, so I'm going to go into that uh, directory. Now, Mozilla Firefox stores its bookmark information in a, f in a file called places.sqlite, and it's generally a pretty large file. It also makes regular backups of your bookmarks in, little in, a, s in a smaller file called, um, well, just bookmarks, in a .json, uh, which is a particular kind of file format. Um, but it stores all those under bookmarks backups, so I want to actually, like I did with Chrome, I want to back up the backups as well as the regular bookmark. So I'm going to hold my control key and select the second file. So now this one's highlighted, and if we scroll up, we'll see this one is highlighted too. And we can go to Organize and click Copy. And then again, I want to create a new folder just for Firefox. So I'm going to click the New Folder button and type Firefox. And there's the new folder. Double-click that and click Organize and Paste. This folder is kind of large, so it'll take a minute. Okay, so that's done. So I navigate to the top directory of the jump drive again, so we can see all all three of these. Now I want to um, see if I can copy some some uh, other personal information. Now I don't see in the location bar my username, and I want to go to the directory that it's my username. And the way I can do that is I can click these double left arrows, and it'll show me the rest of the path as well as other quick access links if I want them. So I want to go into Jeff, which will take me back up to the user directory under Jeff. And um, 
Most people will want to copy everything under My Documents because it's important and handy that you save that, but since my flash drive is only 116 megs, I won't be able to copy it. Um, the way you can find out how big a directory is, is if you click on the directory and then you right click it, and then you click Properties, it'll show you how large it is. This is 18.5 gigabytes, and I have 116 megabytes, if that. Probably only about uh, 90 megabytes now that I've copied all the bookmarks. Um, so I don't have enough room to copy this, so I'd naturally I'd need a larger USB drive to copy those. So let's try something else. Uh, click on My Pictures, make sure it's highlighted, then right click it and click Properties. And this is only 796K, that's less than a megabyte, so that's something I want to copy. If I go into Pictures, I'll see all the pictures I've been working on recently. Um, if you click on any of the images or any kind of file, it will give you specific information about that file. And right here it tells me its size um, as far as resolution and then its size as far as space on the disk. Um, there's no information about date. If I want more information, again, I'll need to make sure that the file is highlighted. Then I can right click it and click properties. I can get more specific information, like for example, if I click the details tab, I can get more information about <coughs> the, um, the resolution, dots per inch. Uh, this is bit depth would be color, stuff like that. There's all kinds of information you can get about a file by looking at its properties. Okay, so these are the files I have stored here, so I'm going to go back to my user directory. And again, I'm going to organize, copy this. Go back here. Now, my pictures is a pretty obvious name, so I don't need to create a special folder just for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in the top level directory of the USB drive. So now I have some, <coughs> basically some fairly important files backed up here. If I had a larger drive, I could uh, copy more things if I wanted to. So now that I've made all the, uh, I've copied all the files I want to, um, and want to eject this drive. Now you could just pull it out, but if you've been copying a large number of files and you pull it out too soon, there's a chance that Windows won't have recorded everything onto it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to close this folder the USB drive. And then down here um, on the taskbar, this section here over on the right where all the tiny icons are is called the system tray. It's right next to your clock. This little USB icon you see, if you put your mouse over it, it says safely remove hardware. So if I just click that, it'll show what hardware I have plugged in. And uh, the jump drive is naturally the only one I have plugged in right now. So I'm going to click on eject jump drive secure. And Windows tells me it's safe to remove the hardware. If you've been writing files for a while, Windows will generally tell you it's writing information to, to the drive before it tells you it's safe to eject it. So now that that's done, I can unplug the drive and everything's secure. So that's how you use uh, Windows Explorer. That's how you navigate your directory. Um, feel free to comment or um, like this video and um, check back to my channel for uh, more tutorials. Take care.